Is this B-pillar patch panel for your 67 through 72 Chevy C10 truck or GMC, is it everything it's cracked out to be? Is this possibly one of the best patch panels out on the market? Let's find out. So here's the panel in question. This is a part from Key Parts. We're gonna get started on cutting this guy out and then we're gonna get this thing fitted and see how well it fits. Also, if you guys want one of these panels, click the link here and that will take you to a video that explains a little bit more about this panel and where you can get it. All right, beyond that, let's get started. Here is a side-by-side -side of these panels. Now, what I had to do to make this panel fit, as you can tell, I ended up fabricating this entire piece right here because that did not match at all. On top of that, I ended up having to cut this down right here. And if you watch in the other video, you will notice that this still doesn't fit right. Now, the other thing is, if you guys take a straight edge to this panel, it's completely straight. That's not how it's supposed to be. If you can tell here, there's supposed to be a curve to it. Okay, so right off the bat, the couple things that we see that are different is this piece is true. This is true to what it's supposed to be. And then the other biggest thing is this recessed in area for where the rocker panel sits in. That doesn't exist on this panel. Let's get this thing cut up and fitted. So I already started. I put this thing in place and kind of figured out where it's going to sit. Now, once again, if you watched all my other videos, I'm going to cut a little bit higher above that just in case this is too short. Well, I got to say it so far, I'm pretty impressed with this panel. So this thing is sitting exactly where it needs to be. I took some measurements. So I measured from this point right here all the way down to where this starts kind of dipping down and it's 12 inches. Also, I even measured from the floor to this piece and that's exactly like it is on the other side. So yeah, um, I might have to do a little bit of modification here, but for right now, I'm gonna go on the back side of this panel and I'm gonna scribe this line and we're gonna get a little bit finer cut so this fits almost perfectly. And if you guys enjoy videos like this, the restoration process and these old trucks, make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you guys know when new uploads are available because I'm gonna be cooking on this thing over the next couple months. If you look closely, you will see Sharpie and then a scribe line. And it's pretty dead on to what the old panel was. Wow, I gotta say, this fits great. The next step is to grind both of these surfaces down and get it ready for weld. Now, as far as this panel goes, this is galvanized. You do not wanna be welding on this stuff it can cause some serious flu-like symptoms and could possibly even give you black lung. Definitely wanna remove all the coating, so I'm gonna probably, just to be safe, remove it all the way down to there. My plan is to put this in the blasting cabinet and to get it completely blasted and epoxy down the other side before I do the final welding. I got a question for you guys. Here's the mess that is my blasting cabinet. This thing is in shambles. I was gonna blast some stuff yesterday and realized there is holes in there end up picking up a new vac for it. This plastic is all warped and you can barely see through it. Is this something that you guys would wanna see? Kinda how to bring back to life an old sandblaster? Let me know in the comments if this is something you guys would want to see, then uh, yeah, I'll shoot a quick video when I do this. If not, then we'll just continue on with the C10 stuff. All right, let's get back to it. This thing's tacked up in uh, four different spots. It fits unbelievably amazing. I didn't have to do any modifications. I basically did this in two cuts. Everything lines up. Even the rocker panel fits pretty decent. You guys remember in the last video where I could actually stick my finger in between the B pillar and the cab corner? Yeah, look at that. So there it is without the rocker panel and cab corner. And as you can tell, man, this is awesome. So is this high quality panel worth it? Uh, I would say, for sure. This was two cuts and you're done. This thing fits like a glove. Wow, I wish I would have had this panel when I started this repair originally, but 
now I do, so I'm definitely buying one for the other side. So if you guys wanna know where to buy this panel or a little bit more information on it, make sure you watch this video right here that will get you caught up, and I will see you guys on the next one. Later.